Hey, what's up everybody? 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys and as you can see Hey, man, the coral don't stop I'm bringing my tank back trying to get it looking good again adding more corals now the tank is more stabilized and uh, ready to go this time I picked up some corals from a uh, page I follow on the Instagram called low tide corals it's also a subscriber of mine watches my videos so pretty cool I'm picking up a bunch of zoa frags this is my first time ordering from them low tide corals I thought it was pretty cool they came with little stickers and some sharks I still have the sharks and I, and I put the stickers on some of my stuff so it's pretty cool I want to know who you guys order from what do you guys get online do you guys get it from local reefers your best bet if you're getting into the hobby is and you your tank is is starting to get established is to pick up your corals from established local reefers because uh, man those guys will cut you a deal I know I do um, I cut people deals all the time and uh, I think that's still the best way to go of course when you get your frags you've seen it before you need to dip your corals it'd be awesome to have a place for me to quarantine my corals like have a straight up quarantine tank because I don't care if even if you dip some things uh, are still gonna get through into your system but if you had like a quarantine tank that was just made for new corals man that would be pretty neat I don't have a quarantine tank I just uh, inspect my corals really good I look at them with the flashlight and I also dip my corals I'm picking up about six different frags of zoas some of those range from hornets to some other cool zoas and pallies that I'll show you um, I'm trying to have a nice tank now uh, you know those are the things that I like I love the variety of colors that they come in right now you can't see them because I'm doing the drip acclimation and uh, looking and inspecting all the corals but the last video I showed you some uh, frag disc tiles and uh, I'm gonna pit all those frag plugs on here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like I bought these ones from aquarium specialty they're a great place to look into they have a variety of different kind of fragging equipment discs plugs and also the black egg crate for your frag tanks or just for your regular tanks uh, they have them at the best low prices that I was able to find and I'm not just saying that I'm letting you know because I did shop around now as you can see my zoanthids I put them on those tiles uh, the reason why is because when you have a tank sometimes you lose a whole bunch of things and you don't really want to be losing your corals so it's easier for me just to break the stem off and then super glue them onto the tiles and that way I can just watch them grow they can grow over their uh, plugs the zoa frag plugs and then you know from there stretch onto the tile I really like the way it looks I got rid of the sand bed and the reason I got rid of the sand bed was you know I wanted something more cleaner you know when corals would fall on the sand bed I sometimes couldn't find them and when it was like SPS or something like that breaking uh, they would die if you didn't hurry up and get them off the sand bed I also like the way that I did the uh, scape you, uh, traditionally I would do the two island look I would have a, an island on the left side and an island on the right side of the tank I would have the center open this time I made my uh, rock work all on the left side and then gradually fade into the center of the tank where the rest of this tank is straight up all tiles um, you can see I got quite a bit of zoas which is pretty cool but I'm also gonna add even more and more as we go on so if you want to see how this tank is doing later on make sure you hit that like and subscribe button following the channel it's absolutely free and hit that bell notification so you can see um, I will comment back if you leave a comment and you know we'll communicate like that um, I really like the way that it looks though with the tiles let me know what you guys think 
uh, something that you're interested in doing it does and it can cost a lot of money um, the best bang for my buck was through aquarium specialty they're based out of south carolina and uh, they have some good products um, way cheaper than some of the big box uh, stores which you know what i'm going to tell you who, it, who they are md and uh, brs uh, md usually will compete with brs though you'll notice that they'll see, sell things a little bit cheaper but and supposedly they, they'll price match both of them will price match so i'm just letting you know where the uh good prices are and uh, i found some great prices on these tiles from uh, aquarium specialty which i'm not sponsored you know but i'm just letting you guys know in case you guys want to do the same look now i did run out of tiles in the back side of the tank i plan on cleaning all that up and then adding some more tiles back there you know since we're talking about stores who do you guys shop from i like to know uh, if there's sales sometimes you can find a bunch of good sales on amazon for reef crystal salt uh, you'll be able to get like a 200 gallon box of salt for like 60 bucks 50 bucks sometimes and that's a great deal i'll let you guys know when i find those specials but if you guys find those specials let me know and then we'll share it uh, as you can see i have most of my stuff on the bottom of the tank you know zoas uh, like you know low to mild water flow i have all my uh, pumps uh, directed up at the middle of the water column to the top and uh, i really like how they do um, some of them you know you won't really notice that they grow fast some of them are real slow growers and then the next thing you know you know you have a whole colony one thing that i highly don't recommend that you ever do is get some gold pallies they might look cool but they will take over your whole uh, rock scape and it was not worth it it just be really really ugly this is a side view one of my favorite side views of the tank um, this is why I picked the SCA aquarium one was the price point and two was the dimensions this is a 20 inch width and then it's like 60 inches long. I also stopped by my buddy Julio's shop, Reef City, one of a really nice local fish store. First time here and I wanted to take a look around. Uh, the reason why I came here is because I picked up a, another fish tank. Uh, that's right, another fish tank for, for the hobby just to get rid of some frags. You know, I, sometimes I run out of room in the main display and I want to have a place to grow them out but he was my low boy frag tank connection here I went to all the shops nobody sold them here and they were so they're really hard to get for me but I went to Julio I asked him hey can you get me this he said yeah he let me know when it was there and uh, I picked it up but I want to show you guys some of the tanks and some of the corals that he has a look around and there's one of my low boy frag tanks now julio um he is one of the good lfs stores here in the el paso texas uh, las cruces new mexico area and uh, he does hook it up you can see he has lots of stuff and when he doesn't have stuff you just hit him up you let him know and uh, most of the time he can go ahead and order it for you Hopefully you guys have somebody nice like uh, Julio in your area or you guys have lots of people that have a lot of nice stuff in your area for you. I don't know, some people have to get everything through the internet, you know, but I'm really lucky to have a variety of different fish stores that I like to visit. And, uh, you know, it's just pretty funny because if you consider that El Paso, Texas is the middle of the desert, but the reefing community here uh, is pretty strong there's quite a bit of reefers here you know you can always usually uh, link up with somebody and uh, have a good time with reefing and things like that um, I do want to get some more fish for my 150 now that the tank is going so I'll be swinging by um, I would like to get like a powder brown um, I had a powder brown before uh, also maybe a powder blue 
but really it's going to be either or and i think i'm going to go with the powder brown uh, once i get this low boy frag tank set up i'd like to have a real nice uh, tang in there they'll be nice and healthy and, and th you know what the powder browns are, are beautiful fish i was looking and kind of thinking of how i want to set this tank up i could make it an all-in-one it would be really easy to do that kind of do it like the innovator marine style where they have it they're all in one tanks but i think i'm just going to go ahead and drill that bad boy instead of a protein skimmer and all that but you never know you're going to have to hit that like and subscribe button to follow along i hope you guys had a good one and thanks for watching and catch you on the next one my friends